By default, KiCad has some neat features built in to develop circuits and PCB. And the power of KiCad can be significantly boosted with the help of third-party plugins. In this video, we'll see such 7 plugins that can increase your productivity and workflow in KiCad. Also, don't forget to watch the video completely. We have a bonus section which will help you customize your KiCad color scheme for a more attractive user interface. Let's quickly see how we can install third-party plugins in KiCad before we discuss each one of them in detail. So to start, fire up KiCad and go to the project window. And then select the option Plugin and Content Manager. On this pop-up, it shows 30 plugins on the KiCad's official repository. But there are way more plugins available for KiCad that can be installed. And we'll deal with those repositories later on on a different video. For now, let's just focus on KiCad's official repository. To install the plugin, we need to add them to the installation queue so KiCad can download files from various Git repository and install all of them at once. So I'll search these 7 plugins and add them to the installation queue. Once you have them in the installation queue, just click on Apply Pending Changes. You can see a new installation window will pop up and the installation process will begin. And once the installation is successful, just click on Close and go under the Install tab to see all the third-party plugins that were installed. In KiCad, most of the footprints, logo and text are predefined with their dimension. And it doesn't give us the option to just nudge the size a little bit without going back and forth between the footprint editor or the image editor. Well, for footprints, it makes sense. It doesn't want us to mess up the dimension of the footprints. But this can be cumbersome if you are dealing with a text or a logo. That's where the transform plugin comes into play, which lets us suggest the size of the text or logo within the layout editor. Just select the logo or the footprint that you want to adjust and then go to tools, external plugins, and then click on transform it. Using these options, we can slightly change the size, angle, shape width, and track width of the selected element. It's not very precise, but in most cases, this should be good enough. To have a better understanding, let me reduce the logo size by 5% and rotate it with an angle of 10 degree. We can see the angle and the dimension of the logo is changed without going back and forth between the image editor and the PCB layout editor. This will definitely increase your productivity by not letting you jump between various windows during the PCB development. As I told before, this tool can also be used to change the thickness of the shape and tracks. Just select the shape and click on transform it and change the value for shape width. Similarly, we can do the same for the track thickness. The next plugin is very handy when you want to get rid of the designator from the silk layer. There might be many reasons why you want to do that. Either you want to keep the PCB compact or you want the space to add custom field, text or logo. Even though this can be done manually by editing each footprint, it would be very time consuming if you have a lot of components in your design. So in this case, we can select all the components by using the shortcut control A and then select the Bulk Height plugin. This plugin is not something very amazing. It's just that I use this a lot and I hope it comes in very handy as you design more complex circuits. A few decades ago, eCAD softwares and the machine running it had a lot of trouble handling curves. That's one of the reason why all of the PCBs in the early days used angle tracks. But now it's just a convention that keeps moving forward with all the PCB designers. Even though the modern CAD software is really good at handling curves. But anyway, there is not a huge advantage or gain in keeping the curved tracks over the angle tracks in most of the cases. But they look pretty cool and they are comparably easy to manufacture if you are doing a DIY style manufacturing. To do the curved track routing in KiCad, you can use the fillet tool to make the curved track. Which we have also discussed in one of our previous video. But this is not something perfect and it's very time consuming to do one at a time. Instead, we can just use the round track plugin. First route the PCB as you would normally do. Then select all the tracks and then select the plugin round track. Most of the time the default settings should be fine but if you want you can mess with them a bit. Once that's done just click on run. This will automatically add fillet to all the angle tracks. Just be a little careful while using this plugin. If you overdo it it can cause some overlap issues. But that should be pretty easy to fix. If you are working on a project, it's very important that you have a bill of material to keep track of all the tracks. And this is how it usually looks, which is pretty boring and not very interactive. 
That's where the iBomb comes into play. It's an interactive bill of material that lets you track sourced and placed components on the PCB. But it also shows the selected components on the PCB in real time, which is super handy when you're assembling the PCB. This is something that I often use while building a project and it's super easy to generate using KiCad. Just go to the PCB layout editor and click on generate interactive HTML bomb. Here you can play with these settings, but I'll keep all the settings to default and just change the directory where the file should be saved. Once that's done, just click on generate bomb. You can see it generates an attractive bill of material along with a 2D rendering of the PCB layout. The next plugin will come in very handy during the firmware development. This plugin will automatically generate code for various pins on your PCB just like this. To do this, go to KiCad and select the microcontroller or the IC which you need the pinout for. In this case, I'll select the 80tiny85 and then click on the pinout generator plugin. Here you can see the result in real time on the pop-up. Currently this is set to list but there are various options that we can choose from. If you remember from one of our previous video, we used various third party platforms to find missing 3D models for our PCB. But now when you share this project with someone, the 3D file won't be copied along with the project. This is where the 3D archive model plugin comes into play. This will copy all the 3D model files into a folder within your project directory. You can do this by selecting all the components and then click on archive 3D models. Finally hit run. And here we can see a folder has been created within the project directory called packages 3D. And under this folder, we have all the 3D models that's related to the PCB. Now for the final plugin, we have Gerber to order. If you remember from KiCad export video, we walked through a list of settings that we need to go through to prepare Gerber file for the manufacturer. But if you don't want to go through that and just want an instant output for your PCB with just one click, this is the best plugin. Just open the PCB editor and click on Gerber to order. And then hit on export. This will automatically generate Gerber files and zip them according to the manufacturer's need. So you don't have to do it manually. Here you can see it has one default zip file and it supports four different manufacturers. In many cases, default.zip file should be sufficient for all the manufacturers. There are two more interesting plugins but each of them needs a video of their own. So make sure to be subscribed to the channel to see the upcoming videos. Now for the bonus section, I want to show you how to customize KiCad with themes. This does not boost your productivity, but this will definitely make KiCad's UI look more advanced and interesting to work with. Just go to the colors theme tab on the plugin manager and here you'll have ton of color options for KiCad. And if you like to know about each one of them, you can always check out their Git repo and learn more about it. To install this, first add them to the installation queue and then click on apply pending changes. Once this is done, close the plugin manager, go to preference, then preferences and under this go to the schematic editor and here select the option called colors. And on the drop down, select the theme that you like to apply and then click on OK. And now you can see the theme has been applied to the schematic editor. And follow the same process for the PCB editor, footprint editor and the symbol editor. This brings us to the end of the video. If this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the content with people who are interested in similar topics. Finally, if you have any questions or doubt, don't forget to reach out to us at PCBCupid Q&A. Until the next video, keep learning and keep creating.